Hi, I'm Darren with EasyFlow, and today we're going to do an installation of our EZ001CX model, which is a one and a half gallon uh, irrigation system. First thing you want to do is shut off the backflow by turning one of the valves off right here. Make sure you're on the downstream side because we're going to be attaching the coupling on that side. Okay, the next step in the process is to dig down on the downstream side of the backflow until we hit the main line. Okay, now that we've uh, dug out the main line, we determine that there's no T's from where it goes into the ground over to this point here, and we see that it's an inch and a quarter, so we have an inch and a quarter ball valve coupling because there's drip on the line. We're going to cut the pipe and put this in with a slip fix. Okay, we've cut the pipe now. We've installed our slip fix which is allowing us to connect our CBV 125 for inch and a quarter onto our main line. Just will simply glue this end to that side, slide this over and glue it. We're going to do that next. Okay, the coupling is glued in place. Uh, the next step would be getting our system and hooking up the uh, tubing to connect our system to the CBV coupling. Okay, we're going to uh, unwrap our one and a half gallon system. When you get the system, you'll get the tubing assembly kit, which will attach with the tubing clamps to the CBV coupling that we just installed. Let's do that next. Okay, the next step is to take a tubing clamp, place it over the tubing, and the black tubing goes on the first fitting closest to the backflow. Click that on, and then one more click. Okay, the next step will be pull the tank out of the box, set it up, unscrew the blue fitting from the bypass fitting. It says blue on the cap. Simply insert that until it stops and thread this all the way on. Until it's tight, just hand tight. Unscrew your bypass fitting. Go ahead and shove that in all the way on the green side. Green to green, blue to blue and tighten all the way. Now with the shutoff valves in the off position you can simply pull the washer to release from the cap. Repeat that. Pull the washer against the shutoff valve to release it. Okay now that our installation is complete the next step is to fill the system. Remove the cap from the tank. Today we're using our Easy Grow 231310 with the biology package already included. We have a funnel, a wide mouth funnel to make it easy. Simply pour the product in to the tank dry. Fill it up completely. This is an eight pound bucket. Easily goes into the tank. And now we're going to turn on the water so we can solubilize and fill the tank. Okay, the next step, once we have our tank full of fertilizer. We're going to go ahead and turn the water back on slowly. We've given enough time for the glue to dry. We're pressurizing the system. Do that very slowly to make sure that we have no leaks. The installation looks perfect so we can move forward to the fill process. Okay, now that the system is pressurized, we come to filling the tank. The water soluble is already in the tank. We have water at our lines right now and we can fill the tank with one or both of the shutoff valves. Open them up and make sure that the tank overflows. You want to eliminate all air from the tank. As you get closer, there might be some foam. So make sure that you fill the tank to capacity to eliminate air from the tank. Once we get to this point, we can put the cap on. Make sure you rock the tank slightly, as there could be a dry spot. 
We want complete saturation. Put the cap on, make sure there's the O-ring inside the cap or on the tank. Close it to snug. You can rinse off the tank to clean it. Put on your washer. Always put on the black tubing first, which is blue water in. Open that up to prime the system until you see fertilizer coming out. Cut that off. Rinse off your hands, the tank. Installation is complete. Now that the system's installed, we're going to adjust the feed setting. Because we're watering new seed, we're going to turn it on the slow setting. And we're going to open up a valve so you can see the fertilizer being proportioned from the tank. Okay, so we've completed the install. It's in its valve box right now and we'll cover it up and it'll be pretty much completed.